Hello violinists, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're playing Travelling Slow from the Fiddle Time Joggers book. I'll play it for you first. <laughs> suggests already this is a very slow piece. In your music you've got semi-breves, those are the notes without the stems, and also minims, which are the white note with stems. Every semi-breve is four counts long, every minim is two counts long, and we'll, we'll play every single note, both semi-breves and minims, with the whole bow. So will you join me? We're going to play from the beginning, and I'll count us in for four. One, two, three, four. here is our straight bowing and we want to make sure that every time you play such a long down bow you push your bow hand forwards like this. So at the end of my bow stroke I've finished here with my hand. If you find your bow is slipping like that check out your hand your bow hand because now my bow hand has gone this way so it's almost next to me here whereas you need to be in that direction with your bow hand. So that is one thing that we're practicing. So the next thing that we can practice is our syncing of our note changes and our bow changes. I'll show you this. I'll play you the beginning and I'll play it the wrong way first. So let's, let's listen out very carefully. One, two, three, four. Did you hear that? So my finger, came down a little bit too late. My bow had already changed before my finger came down. One, two, three, four. That's perfect timing. Now watch out here. I'm crossing strings. So you want to be on time. Cross the string together with the bow. String crossings and bow changes, they're different things, aren't they? String crossings is when you go from one string to another. A bow change is when you go from a down bow to an up bow. And here, uh, where you've got the two minims, the bow change and the string crossing need to be perfectly timed. <laughs> when we play this song one more time I would like you to listen out really carefully really open your ears to the possibility that you may not be perfectly synced so let's see if we can improve on that shall we 
After four, one, two, three, four. a little bit longer than four counts because my counting is going slower you can see the pause over the top of that last note so you might count one two three four and you just hold it for as long as that that would be wonderful now we're going to play this song one final time and this time I want you to really focus on the straight bowing so last time we played it we were focusing on the sinking and this time we're going to focus on the straight bowing. One, two, three, four. focusing on your technique today and I'm sure you have improved loads and loads so well done if you have any questions about this do please write in the comments section below if you haven't already subscribed to the channel can you do so now thank you bye <laughs>